All right, um, so what is a differential equation? A differential equation um, involves an unknown function and its derivatives, its first derivative, second derivative, and, and so on. So the order of the, the highest order of all the derivatives that appear in, in the equation is called the order of the differential equation. So let, let me um, give you an example. So if you have um, something like this, so uh, a y, let's say y is going to be a function of x. So x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Um, and y triple prime, so the third derivative, plus y double prime times y itself, plus 2.3 equals, say, cosine of x. Right, so this is a third order differential equation. So it is a differential equation because it relates um, some unknown function um, to the independent variable and to its derivatives of second and third order. And it is uh, a differential equation of order three because it is the uh, highest order of all the variables that appear in, in the differential equation. All right, so here is another example, right? So this, this is a differential equation of order three, right? So order three is because the highest order of the derivatives that appear here is three. Right? So notice that this is a um, second derivative raised to the power five. Yeah, so, but the power here is, is not the order of the equation. Right? So what is important is the, 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 the fact that uh, the, the highest order of all the derivatives is, is three. All right, so an, an ordinary differential equation is a differential equation um, where the unknown function is a function of just one variable. Uh, so here are some examples, right? So in the first equation, the independent variable is, is x and the dependent variable is, is y. In the second equation, the independent variable is t and the dependent variable or the unknown function is theta of t. And in the third equation, so the independent variable is x and the dependent variable is, is w. Yeah, um, and it is important to understand that um, when we uh, work with ordinary differential equations, then, um, you know, generally speaking, the, the, this y here is a function of x, right? And this dy dx is also a function of x, right? So uh, the, the this equation, it relates the value of the unknown function to the value of its first derivative measured at the same value of x, right? So here, the, this is like for the same value of x. So um, here are some, some more examples. So simple harmonic motion um, is a differential equation where the unknown, the uh, independent variable is t, the dependent variable or the unknown function is, is theta. So it is of order two because the, there is two here. And notice that here we, we have omega. So omega is, is kind of a parameter. So you, you can think of omega as being some specific number. So omega can be something like 0.0. .0 two or omega can be like 23 or something like that. So it is just a specific number. Same thing for Newton's law of cooling, right? So here T small is um, the independent variable. T capital is the dependent variable. Well, and it is K and TM. So they are um, some, some parameters. Now, um, so what is a partial differential equation? So a partial differential equation is a differential equation uh, where the unknown function is a function of several variables. Okay, and it, it means that um, derivatives of the unknown function are actually partial derivatives. So here are some examples. So Laplace equation, wave equation, heat equation. So a partial differential equations are also extremely important in um, physics and in engineering and in all sorts of uh, applied sciences, but we are not going to study them in our course. So they're kind of, this is kind of a difficult subject. So probably some of you will have to learn some 
um, bits of theory of partial differential equations for your engineering courses, but just no, 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 not here. Well, and, and finally, I should probably mention just just to to uh, just, just, just for your understanding, so that um, a delay differential equation is a differential equation uh, where the derivative of the unknown function it depends on the value of the function measured at some some previous time, not at the same moment, but at some some previous moment, some, something like this, right? So here, t is the um, independent variable. Right, so x is the dependent variable, so x is a function of t, right? And so here, x is measured um, and, and here, dx dt, so they're both measured uh, at when the argument is, is t, but here, x is measured at a different time, so not at t, but probably if say tau is, I don't know, say, let's say if tau is equals, I don't know, let's say five, then it means that uh, x uh, of t minus five is the value of the function like five seconds ago. So five seconds ago. All right, so in, in principle, you could imagine models that uh, describe processes where the rate of change of some quantity depends on um, on the quantity itself, but not at the same time, but at some, some time ago. And the, this is a delay differential equation. So it is important to distinguish them from ordinary differential equations because the methods to solve them are kind of different. And we are not going to uh, introduce delay differential equations in our course, just like we are not going to introduce partial differential equations in our course so we will only work with ordinary differential equations.